Hello, viewer. Sparky Silver two four one back here playing Fragile Dreams, and uh, if you guys can excuse me for a bit, I'm gonna go over here and try and fix the, the stack on the TV. Because I usually, what I usually do, guys, is I uh, I look, I usually look off of the previous screen of OBS, but as it stands, I can't do that with a Wii game because I have to face the TV. And so that would be really hard to play on the preview screen of the laptop and fucking point at the, the screen. So anyway, we are here at the uh, mall level. Oh god, it's really dark. Uh, I think it's I think it's the laptop screen that's doing that. Hold on. It's too bright for me. It's too bright for me. Okay, I can, I can see pretty much better now. All right, let's. Stop fooling around with the settings. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get reacclimated with the controls. I've been playing a whole lot of others. Huh. That's neat. There's a cat over there. This place used to be alive with bustling shoppers. Huh. In the past, maybe. Looks pretty run down now. Shit. I surmise that the frequent earthquakes took their toll on it. Indeed. Here we go. Seems that way. Well, let's look around. Yeah, let's look around. Find the silver-haired girl. Let's fill our objective. We seem to be obsessing over this girl, guys. I mean, it's the only person we've ever seen. Shut up, kitty. Uh, cats. See, I heard a thing that that people say like you're considered lonely if you have a cat and like no one else lives with you. I have nine cats, so what does that say about me? And I don't live alone. It's, uh, is my family alone? Like, do we feel alone? There's a bigger dog here. Probably means it has more health, though. Nope, nope. It fell as easy. So, uh, I don't know how to look at the map here. Let's see here. Eh, uh, map, map, map. Map, map. Uh, no map. Here is a map. Um, I seem to be here somewhere. Anyways. Oh well. I'm just gonna search every room anyway. Uh oh. Laughing children. And their legs. Get the legs. Oh, they're actually gonna. I remember these enemies. They they steal your health and then they kick you in the butt. They literally kick your ass. Where are you? You need to be careful with these viewer. Because they will get you. They will get you. Ah! Someone's stealing health. That one. You bitch. Don't you dare steal health from me. Ooh, a level up. Level up, motherfucker. Come here. You want some of this? Pair of legs? You got nothing on me. Some crates are surprisingly fragile and may come apart when struck. Observe. A few blows should do the trick. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know how to open crates. Come on. I think Seto has been hitting shit too hard. I got a cat toy. That's why I didn't buy one earlier, because I said I would have found one anyway. I I hope attacking the crates doesn't there was like, drain inside. the usage of the item. It probably doesn't to be on the safe side. Wow. That's amazing. Did you know this key was here? Huh? No. Well yes. Actually, I knew all along. Bullshit. That's awesome. You know, being with you makes me feel like anything is possible. Mm. Please. It was nothing. <laughs> God, it's really dark on the preview screen. I hope you guys can actually see something. Instead of me just fiddling around in the darkness with a flashlight. That's, that's looking pretty weird on the preview. Anything else in this room? No? Well, let's get out of here. Also, I, I think I should mention 
I think the enemies respawn if you come in and out of the areas you've been in. That, 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 yep, well, I didn't go over here yet, so. What I just said might not be true. Damn it! Also, I think doing bad combos drains the usage faster. So you want to aim to do better combos. Healthy pharmacy. And there. Oh god, more of these jellies. Damn it. Die, you, you mutants. What exactly do you have to do to get turned into one of these? Creepy. Like, what kind of person turns into a jelly thing? I leveled up again. Damn. Seto, the je ghost jellyfish exterminator. <laughs> That's all it is to me. That's all we're doing, viewers, is killing jellyfish. Oh, an item. Sweet. Healing candy card. Oh, lovely. I think in some cases, there will be times that your weapon will break in battle. Also, I guess I could showcase the... the cat toy here. If I could... If I could get to the equip screen. <laughs> there it is. So this is what the cat toy does, all right? You just point it at him. You may not be able to see it, but he's coming near me, I think. You just keep, keep wagging it, keep wagging it, and there he is. Well, you can't see it, but Seto's playing with it. <laughs> now the cat will be friendly to us, I guess. He's being friendly. I don't know why you would want to do that, because they don't follow you all the way. They just, they're just there. Oops. It's a quick map. Uh, as far as those cats go, apparently they, they just don't do anything. I don't, I don't even know why they're there. What? That said something. Bag store. Ito ya. It's a place to buy bags. I assume. No, well, he doesn't want to say anything about that one. It's not important enough, Seto? Wait a minute, I think I saw a door back there. I want to try it. I keep forgetting these things, viewer. I have to forget them. Because I, I saw a door back here, and I swear to God I did. Uh, no. Oh, God. If I didn't see a door, I'm probably going to cut that part out. Maybe. Yeah, I'm probably cutting this out. Uh, let's just go back over here, then. Okay, there actually wasn't a door there, guys, so I must have been smoking or something, and I don't smoke. I'm only 19 years old. And don't worry, viewer, you shouldn't smoke either. It's not good for you, is what Metal Gear Solid tells me. Unless you want to be cool. Look at these huge doodles on the floor. I wonder if that girl's behind them. Hmm. <laughs> that girl. Do you mean the silver-haired girl? Yes. Yeah. She had the most beautiful voice. I cannot evaluate her singing, but her drawing skills are substandard. Wow, that's mean. Hey, that's not a nice thing to say. But it could be more enjoyable speaking with me than with that girl. Is my huh? my What'd backpack fucking feeling Nothing jealous? Now. I think she's feeling jealous. Uh oh, it opened. Neat. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna get annoying later. It's pitch black in here. I hope we'll be all right. Now, don't you worry, Sada. We will be fine. After all, I'm with you. 
Yeah, you're right. It's pretty goddamn dark in here. I can't even fucking um, barely, barely fucking found see it on the previous screen. The crate too. Uh, precisely. We will be fine together. Yeah. Why are we doubting each other? We're together. Yes. Jeez. You'd think for people who trust each other, they wouldn't be doubting each other so hard. <sighs> it's soothing watching the flames. Oh, you guys are gonna show up? Well, I'm gonna be on the safe side. I'm gonna pop these goddamn thingies. Cause I don't need that key anymore. And I think I'm in storage, so I don't need this anymore. I don't need this. I don't need this. <laughs> that thing's shaking. It's getting on my. It's getting on my nerves. It's making me feel. Making me feel weird, Bjorn. Mm -hmm. uh... Inventory management. Save. Hmm. I don't think I need anything else. Oh, no, 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 no. No more saving. You guys are probably getting annoyed at that, but I have to do it. Wow, okay. Oh, uh, I got... I hope you guys love that. My brother's taking a shower. Ah. Or not. Hold on. Okay. So I found a thingy there. I don't remember what it was. Danger! Flammable. This? Whatever. So that's gonna be <laughs> hilarious for you guys. Actually, what uh, what I was gonna talk about, because uh, like, for some reason, I don't know if you guys do this, but I do this a lot. Like, I just um, I I was in the car today whenever I was going to get food, and I was like thinking of all these things I could talk about while while recording, but I just forgot everything that I was going to say. <laughs> How does that work? But, um, I guess the one thing that I could talk about is, uh, I know in my, f I think I said this in my, um, my first selfie, but, uh, I told you guys my, my grandma, she plays, uh, video games. And, like, I told you she plays Animal Crossing a lot, and, like, almost, like, every single day, pretty much, because she, she waters the flowers, she's got it! Got a lot of them flowers. But uh, the thing is, is that uh, we we checked on the GameCube save that we have. What the hell was that? Is that another cat? What was that? It sounded weird. But uh, we checked on the GameCube save, and it uh. It was a, like, we talked to one of the villagers to see how long it had been since we've ever played the game. And they said, you've been missing for like three months, or three years, eleven months. And I was like, wow. Three years. Damn. Also, if you guys notice, I'm like scanning these shelves here. I'm just like, looking for something that may or may not be on the shelves. Because I remember there's being some oh, goddamn shelves. Remember that there was something on the shelves, or right there. Good enough. Cause I wanna, cause like there, there's like a, a set of memories that I wanna go get, but I don't know where they are. Like I think there's like seven of them, but in a set, but I don't know where they are. I only had like four last time. I'll tell you which ones they are later, viewer. Here. Uh oh, I think I know what these are. The hands. The hands are back. 
They won't hurt us though. Cause I got the weapons. Or I got the weapon. I'm leveled up. I'm stronger. I'm faster. And they're grabby. They're very grabby. These things are very, very grabby. Okay, they're dead. Alright. But yeah, three years and eleven months. You'd think they would just move out <laughs> after that long and be like, fuck this place. <laughs> fuck Fred never shows up. Fuck that guy. Nah. Look, there are more drawings here. Are those supposed to be crows? They're kind of cute. They look unnatural to me. I don't know what they are. You think so? I think they're cute. No, they are scary. <laughs> <laughs> what is so amusing? They are scary. Do you find that funny? No, it's nothing. No you laughing at me? See. In any case, it is clear that this space was inhabited by someone not too long ago. Ooh. These markings are strikingly fresh. How do you know that? She might not be that far from here. Yes. I guess we should stop talking and chase her some more. Oh, Seto. I mean, I know nothing about women, but Seto? I think he knows a, th a few things about women. One, probably has nothing good to say whenever he finds her. That's just about it. And more dogs. Where you at? Yeah. Okay. What was that? Ooh, is there a thing in there? Ooh, there's a thing in there. I think. <gasps> oh, it's just a broom. I thought it was a thing. It looked like a mystery item to me. It's just a broom. Broom. Now this area is going to get pretty tough. I'm probably going to have to cut out most of this place because it is long and tedious. And you guys don't want to see it. I am pretty sure that you guys do not want to see this part. Because I don't think I'll be failing because I go meticulously slow at this part. Phew. I'm tired. I'm not. Hey, is this? A dictionary. I flip hundreds of pages to no avail. Oh, how do I possibly express this feeling of remorse? Nothing fitting comes to mind. It seems no word in this book could possibly do it justice. No, it's something more than that. Frightening. These familiar pages only offer empty promises. Words themselves hold no true meaning anymore. Much like my unfulfilled dreams, I no longer have any need for impressive words. This simple one will do. Tomorrow doesn't even exist. Oh. They knew. They knew, viewer. They knew. I named my character Ah. At the time, I didn't really <laughs> care. But halfway through the game, when I thought about changing it, I realized that I was actually pretty attached to it. Despite your bizarre moniker. You still saved the princess and had the king hailing you <laughs> in your stupid name. Come on, ah. Uh, are you really gonna vanish like this? <laughs> are you okay with ending it all without even saving the world? Stuck with that name? I'm sorry, ah. Uh, I should have thought up a better name for you. <laughs> Guys, I hope you don't name your characters ah. Uh. Sure as hell Yosuke did. Alright, and when, when I say Yosuke, I mean the, the guy's voice actor. Because that's Yosuke in Persona 4. That's his voice actor. Uh, also, that, that brings about a question for me. Or uh, a topic, I guess. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel very attached to, like, like, not real things. 
like usually you'd feel attached to like something that doesn't really have a have a mind of its own like like say something you know in a video game that only it's it's like a fucking computer and yet you still feel attached to it like an emotional attachment like the fucking chow from Sonic Adventure 2 it's like you know you you, you can just like disrespect those things but you want to take care of them like like I feel guilty if I hurt them cuz cuz they look so innocent also, I get very, very emotional about what I get my characters to do. As I've said, I'm not really good with naming files or like character names or anything like that. I'm not very good at naming. Like, I'd never come up with good names. It's probably why my why my YouTube names strange. That was on the spur of a moment. If you guys at home are wondering. I think that mystery item is another memory. I'm not gonna showcase every single memory because, like, I don't think I could find them all. Because, like, they are everywhere. And I don't know if enemies dropped them either. There's probably a guide on them, and, like, there's probably, like, videos somewhere about them. Maybe. But, um. I'll just show the ones that I can find, so. Like that. But yeah, I feel like attached to like fake objects, like the toys in my room. I think they're watching me sometimes. Cause like uh I don't know if I can show you that without having to take a picture of it. Well much. But you know the game I have on my actual channel journey, I actually have like a a stuffed version of it, like hanging up on my dresser. And it's just standing there, and the, like, the traveler's just up there. I, I hope I can show you guys, but... I just have it sitting there. Like, I have a I have a collection of Tachikomas on my dresser, too. I love Tachikomas. I love Ghost of the Shell. What can I say? I like a lot of things here. I love you. In a non-homo way. So let's see. I, the map doesn't even show where I am. That's pitiful. Okay, this part is the part I was talking about that would take very long to do. And I'd probably be cutting it up. See this floor? I want to walk real lightly on this floor. Yeah, so what would you have to do? You basically have to go really slow across this floor. And you probably want to try crouching at this. Eh. Because running or walking upright is too fast. And like, I believe you'll only get two steps at this one. There will be one that's less than this one. Like, you can just crouch the entire way. Like, it's on the other path, so... Hopefully, everything I get over here, I can get in one loop. Because I don't want to go through this floor again. Or particularly this floor. Also, what made this floor so unstable? It's alright, viewer, if you, if you fall. Like... If you fall, it only takes off part of your health, which you can back, get back pretty easily. It doesn't really matter. Oh, ghosts. Just my luck. Although it is kind of the one thing that isn't so bad around here. I mean, it's giving me distant experience. Anyway. I don't... I can't actively keep tabs on my experience. I just have to go off with the game. It's me. So if I level up, then... Alright, I leveled up. I actually have no way of knowing. And I don't want to go through the menus to check all the time. Come on. Gotcha. You're dead, son. No, my weapon broke! Fuck. No. 
Oh well. Actually, it's good to have maybe one broken weapon with you, because, um... They can still be used to hit boxes and stuff like that, so you don't waste part of one. I think there's something else. There might be an enemy in here somewhere. Not in this particular room, but... Yeah, I equipped a broken weapon. Also, I don't think broken... I think you could still hit stuff with broken weapons, but... Good luck doing any damage. And you also can't combo with a broken weapon. So that's bad, too. I think that opened that door. So, whether or not you keep a broken weapon, that's up to you. Usually I keep... I don't really keep the broken weapons, but... In this case, I am. Unless the broken weapon can just disintegrate out of your inventory if you use it too many times when it's broken, which I don't think is a factor. So, I'm gonna go through there. Put my... Is there a faster way to do this, viewer? Because I think I could I could go through the inventory and do it a lot faster than that. Nothing down that hallway. Nothing down there. Except a broken door. That's lovely. Uh oh. I hear a doggy. I hear a dog, viewer. Oh, two dogs, viewer. Hey, where are you going? Where you going, Fido? You're done. Ow, oh. That one hit hard, jeez. These hit harder than the other dogs. Oh, damn it, I don't have enough room. Shit. Uh. How can I make room? Shit. I'm gonna have to use this. This candy drop. Yum yum! Ah. Alright, can pick it up. Anything else? Pipe thingy. And I can't pick it up. Well, viewer! I think we're gonna get rid of that candy thing. I think I could have just dropped the sword, but uh. It may come in. Hey! And besides, I already have another healing. Yeah. Mm, let's do shifts. So I got the key. Boiler room. There isn't a boiler in here, though. No, it won't budge. I wonder why. Probably because it just leaves the same place anyway. God damn it. I can't go through doorways, viewer. Help me. Also, if you, if you, if you stop pointing at the screen, he'll just, uh... Point the flashlight in the way you're fucking walking. And the ghosts respawn. Or they were never there to begin with. I think they respawn. Ah, thingy. Ah, oh, it's a mystery item. Oh, I probably want that. Aw. Oh. Viewer, don't make me make this choice. Now I have to throw away the broken weapon, which is probably for the best. I think whatever that thing is, is, is uh, money. I need money, viewer. I need it for... Weapons. See, that way over there is easier, I believe. Hold on, let me throw away this bamboo sword. The trash can has a slightly different uh, sound. Like of throwing stuff away. So yeah, this one, I believe I can just continually crouch walk on it. I don't know why I didn't go that way earlier. So let me see. Watch out. Run, and... I don't need to run, though. Crouch walking here is the best. See, I don't need to cut up this part because it's just crouch walking. Let me just do that. I should have gone this way to begin with. Don't know why I didn't, viewer. I don't think I can. This better not be one of the shaky ones, I swear. Is it another shaky one? Nope. I should have gone this way. What's wrong with me? 
I guess that other one is less of it, but I don't know. This way is longer, though. Who cares? I, I would rather go that way. It's safer. So yeah, viewer, if you actually have the game and you are playing, then don't go that way. Go that way. Maybe longer, but it's easier. <sighs> go always go for the Gaspier. I sounded really drunk when I said that. I should probably stop drinking when I don't drink. I'm getting sleepy. Jesus, man. Hmm. Hmm. Neat. Fluorite. Onyx. A cracked milk bottle. If we worked without ambition, spent our days with time on our tails. Jeez, man. Never thought we were happy. And will now disappear without leaving any memory. And what, just what, was the point of us? Who we were. Oh, hey. You are my valued customer indeed. Hi. <laughs> You're creepy. Oh, the first weapon upgrade, kind of. This is a staff kind of weapon. It works better than, uh, than the sword, kind of. It gets longer reach, and it actually has a charge attack. I'll be showcasing that, but it takes more space in your inventory, so... I'll probably hang on to one. I don't think I have anything to sell. I look forward to our next meeting. Okay. Bye bye Beat them down. So yeah, staff weapons have a charge, which is kind of like a circle move. Like it's an AoE move around you. Speaking of AoE moves around me... That's a... I guess it's a good thing to talk about. That I know I can talk about, because like... Uh... Takes up a lot of space, viewer. Takes up a lot of space. I think memories only cost, uh, one... Panel, so... Eh... Not that bad.